In this video I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of some of the features about the SWR metering and a couple of other things in the new firmware 100010. Now the first thing is there's a new battery icon. The new icon was the idea of Roberto IZ7 VHF and I really like the idea. So the normal battery icon looks like this and as I vary the supply voltage down you'll see that it uh, fills up a battery in the way that you'd expect. Now if I change to the new icon and this is configurable in the menu You'll see now it displays a number, so now I increase that, it's 12.4 volts. Now this, these pixels underneath, each pixel represents 0.1 volts. So the small number here, 12, and 4 pixels means 12.4 volts. If I increase that a bit more you'll see these go on to the next line and then it will roll over to 12. Now you might have noticed it flashing when I went past 13. That's a new feature also in this release where you've got a power supply protection uh, where you can set a minimum and a maximum level of supply voltage. And you can choose to either just have it warn you with this flashing battery icon or have it actually prevent transmission as well as warning you. So if I, I've got it set up with uh, 13 volts maximum and 7 volts minimum just for demonstration purposes. You can see when I go down below 7 it starts uh, it starts flashing over here. All of these new protection features are enabled in a new menu which is called protection menu and in here you've got an SWR protection which you can enable or disable. You can set the SWR threshold at which the transmitter will be disabled and I'll come back to that the GPS protection, the automatic protection against keying when you plug in a GPS is also in this menu. And here are the um, configurations for the supply voltage protection, the minimum and the maximum. Now I'll talk about the main aspects of this release. The power meter shows up in these top right three characters here. Now if I key the radio, you'll see that I now have these two bars here. The maximum full-scale deflection is 6 watts, so if I have two full bars, that means my power is 4 watts. Now that was on a dummy load. The SWR is on the bottom part of the display, and now I've changed to my actual antenna. Now you can see what you see here is the uh, bottom line shows the SWR. And for, uh, the full-scale here is four, uh, a ratio of 4 to 1. So 1.0, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So what we're showing here is an SWR of 1.8. Now if I change to 30 meters, and my antenna has very bad SWR on 30 meters, you'll see that uh, when I key that it kicked in the protection, the SWR protection. And the SWR protection then indicates an S on the display. And the only way to get rid of that is to go into the menu and come out of the menu again or cycle the power. Now if I was to go in here into the protection menu and disable SWR protection, now you'll see that when I key it I get the full uh, three bars there which indicates an SWR of more than four on the, on the bottom here. The other thing I wanted to demonstrate was to show just how quickly that SWR protection kicks in. And remember that the QMX has a Blackman Harris envelope shaping for the RF envelope. And in normal operation, um, you'll see something like this. And um, I've got my horizontal division set to uh, 100 milliseconds per division. And uh, we can zoom in on a dip there and we can see the, the, uh, the quite nice shaping of the dip. So now 
if we run that again and I go back in and I change the SWR protection threshold to 1, which of course is silly, it just means it's going to stop immediately for everything. Um, now if I press the key briefly and come in here and just freeze the screen, I can now zoom in on that and you can see just how quickly it actually shut down the transmitter. So now I'm on 2 milliseconds per horizontal division and the vertical division, the vertical scale is 10 volts per division. Um, so if I just zoom in on that you can see that it's only reached 15 volts peak to peak um, at which point it's it's been the, the bad SWR has been detected and it's been cut out. So this would give good protection against both high current forms of SWR and high voltage forms of SWR. So because we've got that envelope shaping and we can start measuring the SWR immediately at the beginning of the keying envelope, we've got the uh, power to shut it down very quickly. And of course shutting it down gently also avoids any other issues. So there we have a simple um, SWR and power meter that displays in the top right three characters. It won't be the world's most accurate power or SWR meter, but it'll be good for an ind indication uh, that should show you whether you're properly tuned or whether there's any issue. Another new feature I've put in here, if you go into the hardware menu, there's now a tune SWR feature. Now when I enable this, um, you'll see that it's on the same band. Now I'll just go back to 40 meters here. Now when I press the left button, that enables the transmitter. The 50% that you see up here is enabled in the protection menu. It's configured in the protection menu and that means the power supply voltage will be set to 50% of the maximum while it's doing the uh, SWR tune tuning. Now 50% of the maximum PA voltage will mean that the power is 25% of normal because there's a square law relationship between voltage and power. Now as soon as I press the left button here it will go into transmit and now you can see the SWR being continuously reported here on the bottom right. That's uh, into my antenna. I should point out I have an off center fed dipole antenna which is supposed to be resonant on uh, 30 meters but the end of it, the long end of the leg has come off its fishing line and is now hanging on my tile roof which is metal framed so it's not doing any favors. Now if you want to stop that uh, SWR measurement you, it'll either time out after 60 seconds or you can press the right button here to exit the menu, the, the, the function. Um, or you can just, um, if, if you turn the rotary encoder here, that will also do, that will also stop the transmission. So if I go here on uh, 30 meters you'll see I have a much higher SWR because this off center vent dipole is not supposed to operate on 30 meters. So this is a nice uh, feature if you wanted to be uh, tuning up your antenna or check the SWR of your antenna in the field. Here it is on 20 meters. Now finally I want to demonstrate some things in the terminal uh, screen and firstly um, I want to show you in the configuration menu you've now got that new protection menu which has the SWR protection threshold and the voltage thresholds and also this uh, tune percentage which is configurable which allows you to set the power amplifier uh, voltage proportion during tuning activities. But the really interesting thing is in the hardware testing screen. So um, firstly on the diagnostics screen I've added uh, a new power and SWR reading on the bottom right. So now when I press tune um, you'll see that um, you get the power output measurement and SWR. I went back to 40 meters because 30 meters is just horrible into this antenna. Um, I could also go back to the dummy load. Um, now you'll see on the dummy load I get a very good uh, low SWR here. 
So that's on the diagnostic screen and now you'll see that the PA voltage above that is now shown during receive as well as transmit. So it's an additional good uh, diagnostic if you've got problems with your QMX. So the voltage should be around half a volt during receive and then during transmit it should be a little bit less than the supply voltage. But uh, the new screen is the SWR sweep screen and what this lets you do um, is sweep across the SWR from the same frequency ranges that you would use on the RF sweep. Um, so this is a sweep of my dummy load uh, from 5 MHz to about 9 MHz and you can see it's showing a good uh, 1.0 SW, SWR. Now if I go back to the antenna, well just for a laugh let me just do it with nothing at all connected. So press R for refresh. There you can see it's uh, maxed out at an SWR of 10 which is the maximum I allowed it to record. Now if I plug in the normal off centrified dipole antenna and run it again um, you'll see I've. this is where uh, we've got the centre of the band indicated here the 7.074 MHz centre frequency and the SWR is about 2 here which is also what we saw on the LCD screen earlier. So I can go to uh, 30 meters and you'll see it's about just under 5 which again is what we saw on the screen earlier at 30 meters. Um, 20 meters is also around 2 which is what we saw. So you can also in this screen press T while you're in the screen and it will show the SWR at the band center frequency in the bottom right here. So that's useful for tuning up procedures. In the top right this just shows for information purposes the percentage uh, operation of the power amplifier voltage. And again remember that 50% voltage means 25% of full power. So that's it, um, version uh, 100 Zero 010 and of course this is mainly the SWR release and future releases have still got lots more functionality to come including the AGC and a single sideband and lots more features. Thanks for watching.